Hello, this is Rick from MathX, and today we'll be solving number 22 from the 2019 Math Kangaroo for third and fourth grade. Now, this is another high ranking problem, but that can be solved fairly easily. Another thing I like to note about this problem is it has color, and that's always a nice thing to see on any sort of math competitions, because typically you don't see color in math. But besides that, there's not much else to say about this problem. So let's just jump right into it. and start solving the problem. Mary has nine small triangles. Three of them are red, three are yellow, and three are blue. She wants to form a big triangle by putting together these nine small triangles so that any two triangles with an edge in common are different colors. Mary places some small triangles as shown in the picture. Which of the following statements is true after she is finished? So this is a kind of true false kind of question and a good trick for solving these kinds of questions is to eliminate all the things that can't be true so that you're left with the only thing that can be true and this makes these kinds of problems much easier in the problem it tells us that mary has nine small triangles and we have a distribution three of them are red three of them are yellow and three of them are blue and it also tells us a condition but we have to place these triangles down triangles that share the same edge have to be different colors. So using this information, we can already make some deductions about the diagram as shown. In this diagram, we see that four shares its edges with a red triangle and a yellow triangle. Well, in the problem, it tells us that triangle sharing an edge cannot be the same color. So that means four cannot be yellow or red. There's only three colors available. So if four is not yellow or red, well, then four has to be blue. So we've already figured out the color of Four. I'm just going to do that to mark it as blue. We can see the same thing happening with five here. Five shares an edge with a yellow triangle and a blue triangle. Therefore, it cannot be blue or yellow. The only color left after doing those is red. So we know that five is a red triangle. After doing these steps, we see something interesting. The problem tells us that she only has three blue triangles, meaning that the remaining triangles that we place down cannot be blue anymore because we've already used up all three blue triangles. So using this, we can figure out what would be in the place of one. We see that one shares an edge with five, which we deduce to be a red triangle. We know it can't be blue because we ran out of blue triangles. So the only color left is yellow. Thus, one is a yellow triangle. We can do the same thing with two. Two is sharing its edge with a yellow triangle. It cannot be blue because for one thing, it's sharing a side with a blue triangle. And also, we also ran out of blue triangles. So once again, it can't be blue for that reason. So it can't be blue for two reasons. So that means that the only color left for it to be is red. And finally, we're on triangle three. Well, we used up three red triangles and we used up three blue triangles. So that means three must be yellow. Now we filled in information for the entire triangle. We know what color each of these squares are. So now we can take a look at the problem and deduce which statements are true and which ones are false. So let's look. Statement A, one is yellow and three is red. Well, we see that one and three are both yellow as we've seen below. So this cannot be true. A is false. because both of them are actually yellow. B, one is blue and two is red. If we check out one, we see that one is actually yellow, so that's not true. Two is red, but one is yellow, not blue. B is false. C, one and three are red, not true. One is yellow and three is yellow. None of them are red. D, five is red and two is yellow. Well, we see that five is red and two is red. This is partially wrong because 5 is red, but 2 is not yellow, so it's wrong. Final statement, 1 and 3 are both yellow. Well, we see that in our diagram, 1 and 3 are both yellow, so this is our only true statement. Thus, we can circle this as our answer. 
this problem wasn't that difficult. We literally just needed to place down the, the triangles as the rules told us in the problem. We just need to follow the rules of the problem and didn't need to think too creatively to solve this problem. Showing that even though this has a high stature on the test, this problem is quite easy. So if you're ever doing a math kangaroo, always look at all the problems because they're not labeled in order. This number 22 could be more difficult than a 19 or a 20. And you're going to get points that you would have otherwise not received. So remember, when you take Math King Guru, try to see every problem. This way, you can maximize the amount of points you get, and you don't skip out any points you could have possibly done.